welcome back to my channel. So as you can imagine, I've been spending a lot of my time in my bedroom at the moment. This is due to being quite poorly over the past couple of weeks. This video was highly requested when I first started YouTube. It's been a couple of years since then, a lot has changed. Me and Josh moved into our flat around four years ago. I'm currently in my bedroom. This is where I film most of my videos on my channel. And I just thought it would be fun to show you guys what my bedroom looks like. I absolutely love my bedroom. I love how big it is in comparison to my old bedroom and everything just fits in perfectly here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me in the future. And without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to start off with my bed which is from Argos including the headboard and mattress. I just love a bargain and as it was our first home we tried to stick into a budget as much as possible. Our duvet cover is from Amazon and the scatter cushions are from Marks and Spencers, Shein, HomeSense and Primark Home. I've always been kind of obsessed with travel, space and nature so with that in mind I picked up this canvas on Amazon and it just fits in so perfectly with our room. This storage unit is from Ikea, which I keep a bunch of stuff like this photo from my 18th birthday, my jewellery holder, these three little baskets are from B&M and are perfect to store my beauty products. Down here I got a couple of books, my Polaroid camera, another jewellery box and in the bottom two drawers I keep a bunch of room decor for when I want to switch up my layout a little bit and some electrical hair products in the other. My bedside cabinets are from Argos, which I keep random bits and bobs in like my glasses, membership cards and gifted jewellery. These super cute storage baskets hold very random belongings. I've got a neck pillow and a hot water bottle in this one and a bunch of blankets in the other. This one is from HomeSense and the little one was bought for me for Christmas by my mum. Under my bed is full of summer shoes, which I was gonna buy a cabinet for, but that has now been postponed. So it's just got a little bit out of hand. I do have a bit of an obsession, but it's, it's fine, right? It's okay. My curtains and poles are from Ikea. I love how soft the light shines through them and also how flies and bugs can't make it any further than a net before making their way back outside. Brilliant. So now for the fun part, my dressing table which is from Wayfair, my chair is from Ikea and the mirror is a car boot sale bargain, the LED lights are another trustworthy Ikea purchase. I won this mirror using arcade tickets, my brush holders are rescued tea bag storage tins and cutlery holders. And over here I store my lip gloss and lipsticks in these B&M makeup storage holders. This super useful mirrored makeup chest is another gift from my mum. Over on this side is where I keep all of my hair accessories, my nail polish, makeup removers and makeup bags. This cute antique handheld mirror is from HomeSense, absolutely love. In these drawers I keep my eyeshadows, contour and highlighting palettes, my hair care products also live down in here too. In my window I have these star lights which I also paid for using arcade tickets, don't judge me. Then moving over to this cute display opposite my bed, this features my dream catcher obsession. These three were actually bought for me by my dad so they do hold a big sentimental value in my heart. I've also hung some Polaroids using these fairy lights, the wall fixture is from Ikea and this globe down here is from HomeSense. In another HomeSense purchase, I keep my non-prescribed sunglasses. My chest of drawers are from, you guessed it, Ikea, which I keep my undies, swimwear, nightwear, gymwear and workwear, plus belts which are super annoying to store. Does anyone else struggle with this? Because I get so annoyed with my belts. My laundry bin is from Argos. This clapperboard handbag is from Greece. By far one of my most favourite purchases in years. I love this bag so much. Underneath is a memory box full of memories and keepsakes from my dad. This really helps when I miss my dad and it just makes me feel better having this box, looking through all the memories and remembering all of our times together. This clothing rack is from Ikea, the ivy is an Amazon purchase, it's literally in every room of our flat 
and these lights are from B&M. Another funky bag, super cool Christmas present. This one is from my mum, who I'm starting to appreciate is very good at buying gifts. And then down here, I've stacked a couple of floppy hats on top of these very cute picnic baskets, which myself and my uncle Brian searched many weekends for at the local car boot. I've also had to store my suitcases here as there's literally no more room left in my flat to store them. So on my clothing rack, I've prepared myself some cute summer outfits to get myself more motivated to spend time outdoors. Not gonna lie, this saves me so much time because I do tend to stress a lot more in the summer when it comes to picking out outfits. Another cool Christmas present here, this time for my brother Jordan, the coolest Southside Serpents jacket. I am obsessed with this, it's just so cool. I just love it, it's just great. So this storage trunk at the end of my bed is completely full of linen, bedding, blankets, pillows, the lot. Um, I picked this one up from Amazon, believe it or not, and this is where I sit to film most of my videos, so if you're wondering where I sit at the end of my bed, this is it. Here lies more under bed storage. This one surprisingly holds more shoes. At the back of my door equals more shoes. The storage system is from Ikea. I also keep a couple of tote bags here as well. More IKEA storage solutions over here on display. I have all of my handbags in colour order. I absolutely love having my handbags on display and it just looks so much nicer, so much cleaner and it just helps re-inspire me when it comes to creating outfits. These sliding wardrobes are customisable and they're from IKEA. They were the best upgrade we made since moving in. Way better storage, more practical and you can fit way more in in comparison to our older ones. I do try my best to keep my wardrobe colour coordinated, I just find it a lot easier to rummage through and pick out outfits this way. Above our wardrobes is where we keep our autumn and winter clothing and like other random bits and pieces we've got a sleeping bag and suitcases and other weird stuff like that up there. And over on Josh's bedside table is this glasses holder from I Want One Of Those, a placemat from Marks and & Spencers and then this lamp from Argos. This TV over here is simply here because I have no idea what to do with it or where to place it. So final pieces, this lampshade is from B&M, this rug is from Argos and then this other rug is from Aldi. So there we have it, that is my very long overdue, highly requested video of me sharing my bedroom with you guys. I hope you're all well, staying safe and looking after each other because that is super important right now during this crisis. So that's all for me, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!